So he's a therapist and he's selling nooses. That's pretty funny. The little editor down there. Wait, is that Barry? Our biggest fan, Barry? There's a lot going on here. Ropes, the cheaper alternative. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff in here. Give me that rope. A test sample. Mmm, velvety. It flatters the neck. Yoo-hoo! Good day to you, sir. Would you like to buy a rope? We have exactly the right rope for every neck. Hmm, what are the financing options? <laughs> a man with gallows humor. I like that. But we only accept cash, unless, of course, you're participating in our rebate campaign. With 30 points, you get a toaster with a fixture for the bathtub. Nah, I don't really know. I think I'll take a look around first. Of course. Take your time, and don't hesitate to ask if you need any help trying something on. He looks grumpy. I better not bother him. If Barry behaves himself, he'll get to type out my biography someday. Hey, Barry. Hmm. Barry! There's somebody at the door! I heard it! Chase him off! I need quiet for the cover story! You know, about that idiot who almost got us all killed! <sighs> yeah, I know! Psst! Rufus, come in! But please be very quiet, okay? Not sure that's going to happen, Baz. Old Basil boy. What is that? Yes, we'll take it. There's only one single letter in the typecase. A capital Yerk. Isn't this needed? No. Whatever for? There are hardly any words that contain it. And we already reported on the Seder Knuckles in our winter special. Mythological physical extremities. Oh yeah, I think Tony had that issue. Whatever for? The cover story was about centaurs. Oh yeah, of course, I remember. Okay, well I'm just looking for an egg. Don't mind me. Hey, we got some ink. Things look black for the Orcanon. Yoink. Take the ink, thank you very much. Now we need some paper. Is there some paper? Barry? There's some paper. The future is not yet written, at least not on this piece of paper. We're going to do some writing of our own. So if we stamp this, can we do this? If my name were Urkel, I could stamp my initials all over the place now. Too bad. We're we just taking the ink and paper. No time for black box testing. Barry, look what I've written. Hey, take this out. Hey, do you really need that? I'll get in trouble with my boss. I'd be happy to accept it for a good cause. Wow, Rufus, you really are the best. Okay, I'm not sure what we've got that for or the metal tape thing. Are you okay, Barry? You hey, look Barry. depressed, buddy. Why so sad? Oh, Rufus, it's terrible. Everyone says you aren't a hero. You're an idiot. They say you brought down the end of the world upon us. Ah, they're just jealous. I'm totally swell, and you know it. I don't know what to think anymore. I haven't been able to get a single shot of your heroic deeds. Well, you just aren't as good a photographer as I am. If only I had just one photo as proof of your selflessness. Yeah, that would be great for me. You know what? I'll make you a deal. I'll find the subject for another heroic deed, and you'll get your photo. Agreed? Oh, that would be so great. I'll be right back. Wait. Barry. And? Have you found a good subject? Thousands. But we want it to be extra impressive. These things can't be rushed. Finger focus. Oh, this is pretty cool. The rope seller. That wouldn't be a very good deed, would it? Barry, how about you being the good deed? I'm 
Okay, none of that's going to work. Barry, do you need a ticket? So you clear you of depression. This is a letter from the three holy bears. Mama bear, Papa bear, and Ninja outfit bear. What did they write? They wrote, don't be so curious, you dope. Put the ink on there. Who needs a cheap copy when they have the original? Everybody knows that important. Oh, the black and paper, we can make a copy. And we need to make a copy of that little furry animal down in the sewer, so we'll go do that. We'll give we'll give that to a guy. Hey Doc, how you doing? Can I have a look in your medicine cabinet? Hands off! Hey! The antidepressants are for patients who are not beyond hope. I'm not be- uh, no no oh I'm not beyond hope doc. Okay, I've got a ticket and everything. I have a doctor's referral. And may I see it? Everything seems to be in order. Please lie down on the couch. Well, you sure don't waste any time. You could at least put on some romantic music. Just lie down, okay? All right, all right. All right. First, I would like you to tell me why you're here. Okay. Let's start with the story. So, I've got this friend. So, I've got this friend. A friend. Uh-huh. I see. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He just lies around all day, doing nothing. And, according to you, what should he be doing? Well, something useful for a change, like saving the world, etc. Saving the world? Don't you think that's asking a bit much of a single person? Of course, it's practically impossible. But that didn't stop us before. We had many narrow escapes. But now, of all times, so close to victory, boom, count me out, nothing doing. Well, I can understand your friend pretty well. He's under enormous pressure and probably scared. Yes, naturally. That sounds like him. Black beard on the outside, yellow liver on the inside. And quite rightfully so, don't you think? Save the world. That's a huge responsibility. He can't split himself in three after all. Exactly. Unlike me. <laughs> As you say, he... Uh, uh, Say what? Yeah, I was feeling pretty down myself when there was only one of me. Whoa! <laughs> Let's take this slowly. Actually, that was mainly because of this stressful resurrection business. And, of course, the fact that I had killed my girlfriend. Uh, I see. One thing at a time. Why uh, don't you just tell me a little bit about uh, yourself? I could tell you about my childhood. I could tell you about my childhood. I'd like that, yes. My foster father was the mayor in our village. At first he took me along to the city hall, but at some point I wasn't allowed back in because I accidentally declared war on the Shrapnel Coast. After that, I was mostly locked up by myself at home. You didn't have a key? No, I was still very young. But then, by the time I turned four, I learned how to open those handcuffs using the underwire from Grandpa's bra. Uh, I see. I also died. I was dead. You mean you had a near-death experience? Doesn't get any nearer. What was it like? Hmm, like a nightmare at first. Then I remember a light, and eventually I met my maker. Really? Yes, his name is Hermes. Cool guy, actually. Too bad he had to kill himself over me. Uh, I see. You know, I often have the feeling that I don't belong. I often have the feeling that I don't belong. Belong to what? You know, everything. Deponia. So you wish you were better integrated? Jeepers, no. I just want to leave this place. Elysium is where I belong. Unfortunately, getting there is harder than I thought. At least as long as I'm trying to prevent this planet from being blown apart. Uh... I see. I'm afraid of transforming into someone I don't want to be. I last saw him yesterday. 
when I brushed my teeth. In the mirror? Right. And what's so terrible about him? Oh, you know, Cole's ex fiance is an Elysian, a real sleazebag. And you feel compelled to take over his role? Yeah, that's the plan, yes. And naturally, that makes you feel uncomfortable. I hate this role. You are tired of having to pretend. Yes, exactly. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. Your use of complex metaphors to describe your inner turmoil is truly remarkable. Yeah, I, what complex? But, but this isn't about metaphors. I'm talking about my evil doppelganger. Uh, I see. See, you thought we were getting somewhere. I'm racked with guilt. Does that have anything to do with the factor that you, uh, killed your girlfriend? Isn't that what you told me earlier? Nah, it's fine. I revived her. I'm more worried about her going down the drain. She's only a baby. Uh, I see. I'm also plagued by fears I'm of failure. plagued by fears of failure. There's so much left to do. And so little time. Even splitting myself in three doesn't seem enough. But you still seem pretty relaxed to me. Oh, you thought I was talking about myself. <laughs> no way. I'm super cool. I was referring to the other two me's. I'm afraid this is getting a little too cryptic for me. You appear to be under a lot of pressure. But sometimes the best solution is to simply give up. Would that really be the end of the world? Kena? Yes. Are you even listening to me? Let's change the subject. Let's change the subject, shall we? Do you feel embarrassed when you disclose all these things about yourself? No. Why? Quite the opposite. Well, you should. But it's not about me, it's about my friend, so... But th this is not really about me. It's about my friend. Are you quite sure about that? Couldn't it be that this is primarily about you after all? That's nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Wow, you're good. Everyone else always asks like there's something wrong with that. <laughs> I'd love to... I wouldn't... I would really not like to talk about myself. I'm not here to just chat with you, actually. I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're expecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm, how about a Rorschach test? What? You're gonna lock me up in a shack? With a lion? Uh, it's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game? <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. <laughs> Much more so than my father, yeah, for example. Uh, if you say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> no, I mean, I'm ready. So, what do you see in this picture? Elysium taking off towards Utopia. Elysium taking off towards Utopia. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving the order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, I see. Perhaps we should proceed with the next picture. What do you see that's, here? That's a skull. A gorgeous butterfly, a lovely glitter elf, and a cute little birdie. I don't see any of those. I don't. I see like a snorting bull. But you know what? Let's just say a cute little birdie. Huh, a cute little birdie. You what? A birdie. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Aw, adorable. Uh, I see. Build skull and crossbones. Wrong? In that case, I would like to use my <clears> lifeline. <throat> this is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a birdie if it crawled up their butt. Uh, I see. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. What do you see here? I see a great hero. I see a great hero. Myself. Please be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right. That's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And please stay away from me. Far away. 
With that broken, we got thrown out the therapist. Now can I have this? And you think I need them? Hands off! The antidepressants. Well, Doc, you didn't really help me. What have you got there? Oh, this? That was just lying around somewhere. And now you carry it around with you? Yeah, until I've used it. Then it usually dissolves into thin air. Uh -huh. Okay, a typical finger focus. Save Elysium. I save the Ascension Tower thing. Nothing. Hey, there was there was question marks there. Wow, this is so so buggy. Weep. There. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that? <gasps> of course, that's Baby Bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Told you it was Baby Bozo. I've got your design. I found the right design for your unit. Huh? That's just a blob. Oh, I think black would look good on you. Black and blue would look good on you. It would make a nice contrast to your bloody nose. But I don't have a bloody nose. Not yet. I have a letter for you. From Bozo? Uh, exactly. I don't have any time for sentimentality. I gotta think up a design for our squad tattoo. Good news, I have a subject. Really? What is it? Come on, I'll show you. Oh dear, uh, that's terribly high. Ah, uh, stop whining and keep your camera ready. Because what I'm about to do, I'm only gonna do once, unless the picture isn't any good. And then we'll do it again. Okay, what's this? A hook? What are we going to put on the hook? This is probably where the construction workers hang their hats. Whoa! Hey, you little, you little bugger. You wee booger eater. Just you wait. When I rescue him, he'll wish he jumped from the scaffolding instead. Hmm. Somehow that wasn't all that heroic. Just wait and see. I wanted to check the lay of the land first. So can we exchange... We can exchange items with left... Left guy. Can we exchange items with right guy? Because he needs the... It's so exciting right now. That doesn't work. Okay. What about this? So we know we have to get our print from this guy in here. Knock, knock. What do you want? I want to visit your petting zoo again. <laughs> no, thanks. Uh, hey. How do we get items to the right guy? There must be a way. What do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, don't sweat the small stuff. I just want another peek at your animals. But, 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 stay cool, man. I'll only be a minute. Whoa! What? What are you doing? No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! There's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? Do you have proof now? <laughs> Certainly! Oh, okay. dear God. And what is that supposed to be? It's, uh... A dainty little bird. It's a cute puppy. Adorable cat. 
doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. You're just jealous. Next time I'll make a better impression. If you say so, if you ask me, I'd consider the possibility of professional therapy. Hey, nobody asked you, because you're just a stupid kid. Okay, so now if we give that back to Metal Rufus. Metal Rufus. Hey ladies, you want this picture? Not just a blob anymore. I found the right design for your unit. Huh? That's just a blob. No, I think black would look good on you. Black and blue would look good on you. It would make a nice contrast to your bloody nose. But I don't have a bloody nose. Not yet. Wait. No time for black box testing. Okay, so I went back with my blob. And I done another imprint. And I just called it a birdie and it's actually given me the imprint so I'm not sure what went on the first time we tried it but here I really have I found, found your design, right design for your unit here hey that's not bad that looks sort of fierce <laughs> you can say that again a fierce bird you cupcakes whatever it is you found the right design for our squad insignia. Now we can get started. Are you sure you want to watch? Getting a tattoo isn't for sensitive souls. Sensitive souls? The very nerve. As you wish. Sensitive souls. Pyeh. I don't believe it. I've jammed hot needles in parts of my body that... He's passing out for sure. What do you know? It was so boring, I just fell asleep. Okie dokie. Someone's got deck chairs out. Who we'll came take up with it. that? You can sleep when you're dead, nonsense. I didn't find death all that restful, really. Can I take this deck chair? Sure. I mean, sure. Do you need the... Do you need the instructions? Never. A marine doesn't need instructions. Suit yourself! Suit yourself! I'll have your crowbar though. Can I have the crowbar? Sure. I mean... <laughs> yeah! Sure, pal! Take it! Why do you need one? As a shoehorn! I see. Lottie. It's Lottie. Lottie, hey, Lottie, will you come with me? Can you come to the gate now to identify me? No, I can't right now! I have to wait until the swelling on my tattoo goes down! Ah, uh, yes, but I said... No! It's not very nice. Who's in here? Hey, no access for civilians. I'm not a civilian. I'm part of the resistance. Which, by the way, is also why you were going to accompany me to the gate. Well... Tough luck. I have new orders. I'm supposed to guard the radio and bring in any messages from the front. Well, I've got a message here. From the frontmost front. I have to get into the rebel camp. And Fronto, at Pronto. Then talk to the Major. She sets the priorities here. Yeah, you bet I'm going to. Wait a second, that's no Major. That's just Tony. You know Major T? Th th that's my ex-girlfriend. I see she's moving up in the world. Not just professionally. goat. What we got going on here? The locker door? Yes. This is probably Tony's locker, isn't it? Judging from the design, this must be Lottie's lunchbox. She's always been a Cowboy Dodo fan, but she isn't allowed to go to the concerts anymore. Not since she threw her bra onto the stage. Oh, that poor drummer. May he rest in peace. Take it. What's inside it? Open it. Well then, let's see what Lottie has in her lunchbox. Set of balls by what the sounds of her. That? Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fortune teller was right after all. Ah, so we got hormones. Okay. Lottie didn't take her hormone. Maybe the fortune... Ha! Huh, my second favorite right after... Who came up with that? I didn't... We still have that design as well. What's going on there?
Oh, we do have a message from the front. We got the letter. What's that you've got? Is that a message from the front? No less. Not from Bozo by any chance. <laughs> would I lie to you about such an important topic? Or would I leave the conclusion to your imagination in the hope that it might by chance help me out? Yeah, enough with the fancy schmancy. Give me the letter. My dearest honey bunch. Huh. Are you sure this letter is for me? Bambi. Honey. Makes sense. Some people get poetic when they're mortally wounded. What? Ah, sorry. I <laughs> didn't mean to jump the gun. Wait. Dearest Honey Bunch, uh, I wish you were here with me. Blah, 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 blah. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine. Oh, no. Bozo. Is he all right? Well... Is he still alive? Tell me! Oh. Do I have to pull the information out of you in the form of your brain tissue through your nose? Hey, hey, stay calm. No reason to get aggressive right away. I'm just a mailman. Bozo is with his family. You should set out right away. Wait, there's more. Watch out for the mailman? Oh, no, the small print isn't that important. Go on. You're losing valuable time. Right. I need to be by his side. Hang on, Bozo. I'm coming. Hey, wait. Oh man, you could have took me to the gate first. And I didn't even have to lie. Presenting the new and improved Rufus. Forget the Rufus you once knew. Now can we do anything here? Can we get radio messages ourselves? No, it's pointless. Okay, well we're coming in. Surprise! Rufus, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, and your mother smells of... What? It's what to see me? Good. Yeah. I was afraid something had happened to you. Oh, she's it's high. Different. You got a new hairstyle. Close. A new therapist. What's going on with the radio? Where did they get all this stuff in such a short time? They even have the new uh, model uh, 67.5. Uh, 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 no, wait. That that isn't the model number. That's a label with the radio frequency they use. Use that on there then? We can listen to their shenanigans, find out who the leader is. Good idea. If I set the frequency of Tony's radio on the baby phone, I can reach Tony any time. Easy. Now all that's left is the question of why I should radio her at all. She stopped fetching me from random bars with a wheelbarrow a long time ago. <laughs> I don't need to radio her. She's sitting right next to me. Okay, let's radio from the other room. Hey, no, what are you doing? You're not leaving. Get back in there. Although we should save. We've not saved for a while. Let's do that. Rufus to Tony. Rufus to Tony. Ah, oh, Rufus. If you've got something to say to me, you're welcome to come by in person. Stop this nonsense and free the channel. Tony, why are you so calm? Who's you your therapist? Tony. Ah, oh, Rufus. Won't you sit down? I need to talk to this new general. I need to talk to this new general. Can you take me through the gate? I could, but I won't. Why? I need to finish my meditation first. Excuse me, does that mean you're just gonna sit here? The Organon might be initiating the detonation of our planet at this very moment. While the last high boat is still anchored at Ascension Customs? Unlikely. Unlikely, unlikely. Will you still be saying that when everything around here suddenly turns into a, a, a flaming fiasco? Oh, uh, now that was highly unlikely. You mean like back when you tried to turn lead into brass instruments? That was a completely different matter. Anyway, it would have worked if only I hit the high F sharp. Oh, Rufus, just relax. We've got everything under control here. The general has a plan. So the general has a plan, eh? So the general has a plan? What kind of plan could that possibly be if it doesn't involve me? That's a secret. But I'm the leader! You used to be the leader. We have a new general now. New general, new schmeneral. Mo, mo, mo. You don't even have a war anymore. I mean, where's all the action? The explosions? 
the dismembered people, the burning huts. As I said, we have a new general now. Yeah, who is it? Things seem to be different with the resistance these days. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Everything here is so... Organized? Boring. Lame. Dreary. I guess that's because we drove the Organon out of Porto Fisco. We have new equipment and new command structures. Excuse me, I can barely hear you. Your mechanical beard is making too much noise. Yeah, you do sound a lot like the Organon. So, you found yourself a therapist? So, you found yourself a new therapist? Yes, and he is really good. For one thing, I no longer have this recurring nightmare where I'm being chased by a GNU, where the walls are dissolving around me until the whole house collapses on top of me. Yeah, that was quite a memorable day. And you must admit that the gate really stopped squeaking after that. How can you just sit here totally unperturbed? The world is coming to an end. Does that mean you ran out of your famous plans? No, oh, of course I have a plan. But for that, I need, you know... Help? A minimum of support. Remember, it's me who's saving everyone's fat, lazy behinds around here. In that case, let me thank you. But there's no need for you to save us. We've got a plan of our own now. If you want to help us, just sit somewhere and don't touch anything that flashes. Or is in any way combustible. Or yellow. Oh, you know what? Don't touch anything at all. Come on, death to the Organon and all that. Hmm, I know exactly how I can draw... Hey. How do we get the old Tony out? <laughs> I know exactly how I can draw out the old Tony. Spare yourself the effort. <laughs> you should know me better than that. When have I ever made an effort? Oh no, this one's definitely going to get her. There's three of me now. All right, now that is impressive, but also totally absurd. But it's true, I cloned myself. I think we would have noticed by now. From the reign of ash or some such thing. No, there is. There's three of me, honestly. There's three of me, honestly. Oh, boring. Oh, I give up. You do? Oh, remind me to send my therapist a fruit basket. You know what? I'll prove it. It's not over yet. What isn't over yet? Uh, no, well, it's over. But I'll be back. No rush. All we need to do is send that to number two. Number two, get on the radio, will you? Yoo hoo! Oh, Rufus, why don't you just admit that? Wait a minute. One Rufus. Two Rufuses. Yep. And there's another. <laughs> exactly. there's oh, there's a spider down. over there. Three, actually. Three times the action. Rufus. 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 Yes, we knew right, we could crack her. Just stay calm. Don't stay calm. Go nuts. And you're gonna see him right now. Oh man! Before you go, let me in the bloody place, will you? <laughs> that was fun. Uh, do we send this back? It's we'll send so it back. Exciting right now! I want to remain within reach. Oh, okay. So we're not done there. Um. Can we use a crowbar on the monkey stand? Maybe we can. I'm sticking to it. At any rate, it's a birdie. Lottie didn't take her. Maybe the fortune. Hmm. Now what is there to do in here? I thought we could control this somehow. What was the point in doing that? There was no point whatsoever. No one's going to let us in. We still can't get baby because he just keeps spinning around. What are we missing? We need to send this key to number three. What are we going to do with the bloody deck chair? Think we can spy on their therapy session? 
it's closed. Inspire it if we go up to the rope store. It has to be this therapist, right? The only one we know of. And uh, now suddenly, I see him twice. What does it mean? Is my subconscious trying to give me a heart attack? I have a feeling this is going to add months to my therapy. We must extend it. What? Make it even longer? Um, I mean, what the kind of schedule were you thinking of? Well, at least until the world ends. And after that, let's see. <laughs> okay, so we've tried all of these, I'm pretty sure. No, we've not. We've not tried the flyer. Did you? Did you put a flyer out just now? Mo's therapeutic ropes. The cheaper. <laughs> will you look at? Apparently, the knot will be worn more to the left in the upcoming season. Ah, I see you are interested in our flyer. Yeah, can yeah, I have very it? Very much so. Excellent. You'll find all the important information on our products in there. There's even a small preview of the upcoming winter fashions on the back. If you are subject to winter depression. You should act now. Many models are out of stock during the holidays. Um, what are you doing? I'm making a paper airplane. What else? But my beautiful flyer! Well, we'll see if it's a beautiful flyer in the test flight. Okay, so we're throwing it down there four times already. And I think we just need to wait it a little bit. No, this problem demands my... Besides, I could break a nail... That's a weight. The metal weight? Use it. Of course. If you make the nose of a paper airplane heavier with a weight, it'll fly farther. I knew my long career as a parking offender would eventually pay off. Okay, now throw it at Tony. Yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. And the target is also well chosen. By now, he must have realized that he needs help. Well then? Let's relieve the poor devil. Whoopsie! There must be some strange updrafts here. Oh, it was a downdraft before. We're not getting that back, are we? But now we can jump over here and we've got the yurt key for the terminal. That's if it's made it. Uh huh. What? There's a flyer. What pathetic construction. Whoever made this obviously had no idea how to fold a proper paper airplane. Unlike me, of course. Therapeutic ropes. The cheaper alternative. What's that supposed to mean? Is somebody trying to yank my chain and... Wait a minute. What's this? There's something stuck to the tip. A capital Yerk. Huh. Now I'm going to show that unknown, nameless amateur how you do this right. Whoopsie wee! Boy, they must have some funny downdrafts around here. And then it turned out he'd come up with the idea to store his fish hooks in my jewelry box. He'd already stuck the bait on them. It was so horrible. It made me wish my ears would fall off. I can relate to that right now. Ow! What is this? A flyer? Hmm. Sure. Why not? Uh, Miss Tony, I have good news for you. I finally found the appropriate therapy for your problem. Wait a moment, I'll just write you a prescription. Oh wow, so beautiful. 